Everyone, welcome to Plants and Politics. It's time for another episode of Plants and Politics. Where are they now? Matthew Bledsoe was arrested. Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. So 36-year-old Dale Shalvey of Pennsylvania was indicted by a grand jury. Last I shared with you, he had only been arrested, but the grand jury indicted him and increased his charges and potential prison time. So he was arrested March 9th after being seen in photos and video in the Senate chamber. He was wearing tactical gear. As you may recall, you may remember this guy. He was the mental giant who read the letter on Ted Cruz's desk and then declared that Ted Cruz was going to sell them out all along and then someone else had to step in and explain to him that no, actually, that's not what that means. Now, Shelby is facing increased charges and prison time based on newly discovered evidence which shows that he assaulted an officer during the insurrection. He also lied to federal officers about this when they interviewed him back in March. And in addition, Shelby stole a letter that Senator Mitt Romney had written to Vice President Mike Pence. So the indictment doesn't specify exactly how or where he assaulted the officer, and it doesn't include any details about Romney's letter, but it does lay out these new 11 charges. Well, some of them are new. Shelby is now charged with civil disorder, assaulting officers, obstruction of an official proceeding, theft of personal property within special maritime and territorial jurisdiction, false statements to officers, entering and remaining in a restricted building or grounds, disorderly conduct in a restricted building or grounds, entering and remaining on the floor of Congress, disorderly conduct in a Capitol building, and parading, demonstrating, or picketing in a Capitol building. So based on these new charges and the indictment, Shelby could spend over 42 years in prison and or be responsible for fines of hundreds of thousands of dollars. And here's one thing to watch. The false statements charge, which is United States Code 1001 under Title 18, if you'd like to look that up, that charge comes with a five-year penalty unless the offense involves domestic terrorism. So if the government decides to officially deem January 6th a domestic terrorist attack, that could increase prison time for Shelby and many other people. In any case, he may have kissed his entire life goodbye. Again, you know, this guy is in his mid-30s, 40-some-odd years in prison potentially. Even if they cut that in half, he's done. All because he believed a man who has never been honest with anyone ever in his entire life. I will keep you guys posted. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon.